guys, welcome back. Today we're back in Theron Bookstore and we're actually gonna finish the whole thing today. I was just gonna stop initially. I was gonna do the reading room, do a space how I've been doing it, but this is a really small little room and everything else that I had to do seemed pretty small. So I went ahead and I just did the whole, the whole shebang. We kept to our pastel theme but essentially this space that I'm designing in here is meant to be like a book club area. So this is where you go if you have a book club in Pleasant View. This is where you read or you discuss or what have you. I did initially have problems with the dimensions of this room because it is very small and the way that I wanted to set it up was hard. <laughs> I was like, I want all these chairs. I don't want to get one up. But I think I figured out a way to make it cute, but still functional. I was initially gonna have some books displayed in there, but eh, it didn't seem right. I got rid of the interior windows as well, just cause the doors seem plenty. And yeah, it's not very, wasn't a really complicated thing for me here. A couple of plants. I did put a little um, gecko cage in here just because I thought it was cute that there was like a pet here. Oh, can you might be able to hear the dog. I'm sorry if you can. She has a rope. See, so yeah, I wasn't super happy with how these were placed. I'm pretty sure I put that cool sun lamp in that comes with the game. And then I wanted a rug. And of course, I wanted to use the high school year's rug, or no, this is the pastel pop kit, because I'm obsessed and I've already used it in several spaces, but then I was like, oh no, all the chairs are uneven. Can I handle this? And the answer was no, so I had to move everything. I think it's cute though, and I like the concept of like a local bookstore having this dedicated space for people that, that live in the community to come and talk about books. That's how you keep your business going. So yeah, that's that little space there. Added a few little plants just to make it cute. And we were done. And it took me like 10 minutes. So there was just, there was no way that was gonna be a speed build. I really wanted to keep these posters because it just it felt like something you would see and I wasn't able to use them in the museum, but there was just, it was not going to happen. So enjoy them while they're there. I'm going to have to do like an art gallery or something. I wanted to put curtains here as well. I just felt like you don't really want somebody staring at you. I wish I had different lengths, but having them all the same, maybe the person who runs this shop as super OCD and keeps them all the same length. It could happen. But I just felt like blocking some of the windows off. I thought about putting some fancy curtains in front of the blinds, but eh, it's not necessary. And then I went directly into the outside of the building. I wanted there to be like a newspaper display, a sign, some trash cans, Nothing super fancy, but just small sort of essential things. Yeah, um, I do put a little sign on the door. I feel like that's cute. I thought about putting like a privacy fence up, but eh. A, I didn't want to do it because I'd have to alt, or it's not really alt placing in The Sims 2, but it would not be on the grid and that would drive me nuts. And B, it just, it, there wasn't a big enough payoff to include it. It has to look really good to do something like that. But yeah, I got a little hours sign, which I love. I don't remember where I got that CC. It's the same place that I use the museum signs in. And yeah, I wanted to include electric bicycles. I felt like that was important. Just taking out any duplicates. We've got kind of a dumpster in the corner, mostly probably for cardboard. And then I started just placing vehicles. I 
I love that truck. And I love that olive car. It's just so nondescript and perfect. I wasn't really sure where to put the electric bicycles. There is a stand, but I couldn't find it at the time and I was just not worried about it. I'll put it in when I find it. And yeah, I just kind of put them right there. I figure Pleasant View does have this big green initiative as we saw at the museum, so I want to try to keep it going. And I love putting like boxes outside, almost like people are, they got a delivery kind of thing. I really wanted to use these, but they were, the sizing was wrong and it was upsetting. So this next space that I'm working on is actually like a podcast space, but also an author space. So any visiting authors are here, but I imagine that the owner of the bookstore also has a podcast where they talk about books and maybe they have a YouTube channel as well. So I had just kind of like a few displayed books here. The poster out front is meant to be whatever author is coming next. I was trying to pick books that were like, they looked like they could be written by the same person. So like the vampire, like a witchy looking one. That's the Henry Puffer set. And then that one, it kind of, it all looks like it could it, theoretically be the same author. I really wanted that to like block the area, but the, the bread was, was not right. Got the little camcorder. And then because this is also used as a space for like visiting authors to do like reading excerpts and things like that, I wanted there to be folding chairs. The parrot in the corner is owned by the owner of the bookstore. I like to imagine that the owner of the bookstore has a rivalry with the director of the museum because they have a parrot called Mr. Happy, but the bookstore has like a cockatiel or something and there's like a, a friendly rivalry. I was trying to use some of these other book kind of display things, that's why I had to get rid of the posters. Because I wanted this to be a functional place where Sims can actually buy things. The museum, you can kind of buy things, but it's not as functional. It's more of a visual place, I admit. But this place, I want it to be functional. See, so yeah, I have the author portrait, and then I have this poster here that I like to think is maybe the movie coming out based on the book that she wrote. And now I'm just kind of putting in like a calendar in the uh, reading area just because obviously you have to reserve your slot and they do that with the calendar. And then all these posters are meant to be like different book covers. I wanted to have that little shelf, but the blue was driving me nuts. So that was not gonna happen. And all of the art like featured on the walls here is all again done by local artists a lot of it's actually done by teens because they have that teen area and they just they sell it for them there's a sign for the local humane society i actually had a poster with books on it it was great very happy about that and then this one which the footprint was killing me but not as much as the footprint of something else which you will see and yes i'm still very 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 upset about it I might honestly remove that CC from my game. <laughs> That's how upset I am. See, so yeah, I put this little shelving thing again. It's like stuff that people have made that the owner of the bookstore is has agreed to sell for them. Lots of the pastel pop kit. This whole lot could just be called the pastel pop bookstore. And then I wanted to put up like a bulletin board for local events and stuff. I really enjoy doing that on community lots because it just looks perfect. It looks right. I was getting so mad with the footprint. You don't even know. I'm like, I just want to grab it. I just, I just want to, I, I just want the shelf. Because I love how there's all the books and everything on it. Like, it needed to be here. And the fact that it was being difficult was just so upsetting. I wanted to include that, but I, I had nowhere to put it. And then once this, I, I realized it was backwards. I'm like, well, I have nowhere to put this either. I do manage to sneak in 
art because if the Henry Puffer books were being featured, obviously you would have some artwork based on that, along with just some original pieces. Gotta have the Wi-Fi password. It's necessary. I struggled whether to center, center it under the cash register or the counter, but I chose counter. And then just a sign about green initiatives. And then I wanted to make sure we had basic fire safety kind of things. So fire extinguisher. I'll have the little switch. I wanted to put up some butterflies as well since we have that butterfly display in the museum. Like maybe these are ones that didn't make it in, but it's a nod to something else that's going on in the community. I really enjoy doing that. I just feel like it adds so much depth to what I'm doing. Andy, I think we're almost to the point where I lost, I lost my mind a little bit. That is these beads. Couldn't grab them. Can't grab them. There's no footprint. It was so upsetting. It's ruining everything. And they're so cute. Like, I don't really want to get rid of them, but it's, it's going to have to happen. I don't know any other way to resolve that problem, but I, removing the CC. So yeah, not happy about that, but I'll live. I wanted to use this too because it was a nice angled shelf that's clearly made for books, but I just couldn't get it to cooperate. I keep trying to grab it every now and then. I'm like, maybe if I just, can I grab it? Can I do this? It's the same as the trumpet in the Pleasant View Museum, but that one I was able to at least make work. So I'm just decorating the counter. I wanted to keep the water cooler, but there was just nowhere really to put it. This is me just editing down what I have. Like I had a bunch of cash registers and things like that. I love that little kitty radio too. It's so cute. And then I needed to move these bags somewhere else because they were just in the way. And I was like, well, why don't I just attach them to like the counter because that makes more sense he would not want those super visible if you could help it so then I just started kind of putting different deco pieces up flowers and like hand sanitizer just whatever you might expect to find on a counter I loved all of these pieces but I just couldn't make them work I really couldn't I should have put that one somewhere else because I like that but I couldn't couldn't do it <laughs> I love that I keep going back like just maybe I knew I wanted a first aid kit I didn't know which one so I just kind of kept all of them and then I kind of had a bag on the floor just for a little bit of color a bunch of headphones and then I was like why do you have headphones it kind of does not make sense I was just sorting everything out I had three different Kleenex things the bags are meant to be the employees personal belongings they just kind of shoved under the counter the ballet flats the little heater I love that little heater I think it's so cute like pen speaker thing. I figure that's kind of how they control the music in the entire store. Some Kleenex. I had so much fun with this lot. I really, really, really did. I don't um, record putting all of the books in because boy howdy, that was a lot, but that was probably the funnest part for me is just putting books in which you'll see on the tour. I don't think it's going to be in this video. 
because it's just too much. Okay, we got like a little speaker, clipboard for maybe inventory things or signing for a delivery. I do get rid of the typewriter and keep the little moss ball tank just because I think it's cute. And I recolored it with a little pastel fish because of course I did. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think of this build. If you want me to continue doing things like this, I'm probably gonna, whether you want me to or not, but I'm always curious to hear what people think. If you like this video, please do give it a like. It really does help. I'm also at this point saying, hey, if you like what I do, please subscribe. Just, it gives me motivation and serotonin. But on that note, I'm gonna go. I will see you guys in the next one.